Hello everyone, welcome back to this video series on clinical SAS HTTM programming. In this video, we will see how to create or populate actual ARM variables in HTTM DM dataset. So let's go to the background. In randomized and blinded clinical trials, the treatment allocated or the treatments corresponding to the ARM to which a subject is randomized to is blinded. What does this mean? So this means that the investigator, the study subject and the personal analyzing the data so along with the sponsor will not be aware of the exact treatment until a certain point in time when the treatments are revealed. Once the subject is randomized and ready to be dispensed with a medication, the investigator uses IVRS or IWRS to get the kit or the medication box number that has to be dispensed at a particular visit. So neither the investigator nor the subject will know the what medication is contained in the box as they are blinded. Say for example, if a study is containing active or placebo, so the box may contain placebo or active. The investigator and the subject will not know what is contained in that box, whether it is placebo or whether it is active. So how will this be tracked? So in the back end, a database will be kept containing the box numbers and what treatment is contained in the box. So this will be generally be present in a data set with a name called box and this can vary but again one example is box and the box data set will be available for use in programming and during the blinded phase the contents of each box is populated randomly with the possible treatment values say for example if some uh, study has placebo and active treatments so the on different box numbers so the values in the content would be populated with placebo or active on a random basis so that we can use in our programming but those values which are populated in the content are dummy values they are not the actual values so at after unblinding or when the treatment content is revealed that box data set the content variable will have the actual values populated so actual term variables in SDTM DM are populated based on the box content received by the subject. Note that sometimes there can be dispensing errors. Say for example, after dispensing the box to the subject, they may lose it or they may damage the box. Or sometimes there can be dispensing errors like incorrect box being dispensed by the investigator or the site personnel to the subjects. So there can be different algorithms on how actual arm of a subject is populated. For example, in a multiple dosing study, one example approach is to populate it with the most frequently used treat treatment. And one other example approach is to populate it with the very first treatment that the subject is exposed to if a study has multiple doses. So what do we learn in this lesson? So in this lesson, we will see how to populate actual ARM variables in SDTM DM domain based on the first treatment the subject is exposed to. So we are using three data sets as input. The first one is demo data set and the second one is IP admin data set and the third one is box data set. So what do we have in demo data set? A demo data set contains a list of all subjects who participated in the study. And IP admin data set contains the dosing dates and the box number being used at each visit. And the box data set contains the box numbers and the associated content in the box. Now let us take a look at the input data sets that we will be using in this. So we have our demo data set which contains a list of subjects who participated in the study. And the second input data set is IP admin data set. It contains the list of subjects and the associated dosing date and the kit number that is being used at each visit. So and the third data set that will be used as input is box data set. It contains the box numbers and the content which is present in each of the boxes. So now what we need to do is for this example we need to for each subject we need to identify the earliest box id that is being used and then based on that box id we need to fetch the content as actual arm. so let us now go to the specification and see so actual arm cd the actual arm code variable it says actual arm is in this example it will be identified using the content of the box from which the subject took the first non-zero dose 
fetch the box ID of the earliest dose of each subject by merging demog and IP admin data sets at study and PT level. And then actual treatment, the box dot content associated with each box number is present in the box data set. And then we are being asked to fetch the box dot content associated with the box number of each subject into demog data set by merging process demog data set, which contains the IP box ID, which is the earliest IP box ID used by the subject. And the box data set has to be merged at IP box ID in the demog data set versus box dot kit id the box number is present in a variable called kit id in box data set it is present in a variable named ip box id so we'll have to rename one of those variables and merge these two data set and for actualum we are being asked to populate it as active in prop case when actualum cd is equal to active and then we are being asked to populate the text placebo when the actualum cd is pbo now let us go and try to manually identify the uh, actual arm for one subject so let us now see the input data so let us first see the IP admin so here we have the first subject who took a dose is 1004 so let us now try to identify the uh, actual arm for this subject 1004 so there are multiple doses given for this subject across different weeks, week one, week two, week three, week four on different dates. So out of all these dates, so we need to use the content or the box ID from the earliest dosing date. So we have 5th Jan, 12th Jan, 18th Jan and 25th Jan. So out of all these dates, so 5th Jan is the earliest. So what is the box ID that is used on the earliest date? It is this number. So we need to use this number and then just try to populate we are trying to identify it for 1004 the earliest box id used by the subject is this so now we need to cross check the box data set and see what is the content present in this box with the number which is ending with 4371 let us now go and check the box data set for the so here this was the data this was the box number 4371 the content in that box is active so well, let's copy this active and fetch it into our content column so the content present in the earliest box id used by subject 1004 is active so we are asked to populate actual arm cd using the value present in content and then for actual arm we were asked to populate with active and prop case let us now try to identify for one more subject so let's use 1005 so ip admin 1005 so we have again week 1 week 2 and week 3 so on dates 5th feb 12th feb and 19th feb so 5th feb is the earliest so the earliest box id is the one which is ending with 7377 so let us populate it here so now what we need to do is we need to check the box id which is ending with 7377 and see what is the content in it let's go to the box data set now so 7377 has content of placebo so let us now populate the content column here and we are asked to populate actual arm cd with the value in content on that box so it will be placebo so actual arm we were asked to populate it with the text placebo when actual arm cd is equal to pbo so we have manually identified how to identify the earliest box id and then fetch the content of that box and then populate the actual arm cd or actual arm variables in sdtm dm data set now let's see the programming so we have the specification which we have already seen here so here the first step is to identify the box id of the earliest non-zero dose of each subject so the first thing that we as we need to identify the earliest record we need to sort the records based on the subject and the dosing date which is present in a variable called ipstdt underscore raw so for that what we are trying to do here is as this is present in a character format we cannot use it in sorting so we are converting it into numeric format and storing it in a variable called ipstdt and then as per the requirement we need to get the records which has a non-zero dose 
so if input of ip quantity raw so ip quantity raw was present as a character variable so i am converting it into numeric format using input function and then filtering only those records which has a value of greater than zero which means a non-zero dose is being taken so and then after that i am sorting the records based on study pt and the ip stdt so the earliest ip stdt record would come on top and the latest record would come at the end within each subject with this sort order and then after that so as the earliest record is on the top we need to pick the first record for each subject so i am using first.pt uh, subsetting if statement to subset that earliest record so here i have the I am keeping the box ID. So on this earliest record, there will be a box ID. So as we need to use the box ID, which is being used as the first treatment uh, that will be kept in this. So now we need to fetch this data set into our demo data set. And this can be done by merging it study and PT level. And then after we get the earliest box ID into demo data set, we need to get the content of that box ID from the box data set. So we are fetching the content from box id data set associated with the earliest box id we fetched into a data set called dm01 by merging ip admin 03 into demo and then here we in the specification we were told that the names of the variables which contain the box number is different in ip admin and also the box so in box the variable was kit id so what i am trying to do here in the merge step is trying to rename kit id to ip box id so equivalent to the name which is present in the demo data set so that we can use it as a by variable so i have merged dm01 and box data set based on ip box id and then kept all the records which are coming from demo data set so there can be other box values which are uh, present across different visits so as we don't need all the box information which is present in box we need only for the box ids which are present in demo so i am using if a and then i am assigning the variable content to actual arm cd variable and then using if statements i am assigning actual arm based on the specification which is provided if actual arm cd is equal to active then actual arm is being assigned with the prop case value of active and then if actual arm cd is equal to pbo so i am assigning the text placebo to the actual arm variable so let us take a look at the intermediate data sets that were getting created out of this so we have our ip admin data set in which we have created this numeric version of ip stdt and then we sorted this based on study pt and ip stdt and then filtered the earliest record for each subject and kept only the required variable study pt and the box id and then we fetch this ip box id into our demo data set and then by merging it at study and pt level so now we have the ip box id and after that we merge this dm01 data set to our box data set at study pt no, just ip box id versus kit id in the box data set to get the content variable so after we got the content variable we created actual arm cd and also the actual arm variable so this is how we can create actual arm variable in sdtm domain so when we were asked to use this kit id concept and also the concept of using the earliest treatment taken by the subject to populate actual arm variable so thank you for watching and keep learning